A figure class is a top level container for all the plot elements. Matplotlib.figure module contains figure class. You can create object of type figure by calling a figure function on plot object. You can customize it by initializing parameters like figure size that's width into height. It's a tuple in inches or dots per inches, figure face color, edge color or edge line width. You can keep all these things blank and use default values to create a figure class also. Axis is the most basic and flexible unit for creating subplots. Axis allow placement of plots at any location in the figure. A given figure can contain many axes, but a given axis object can only be in one figure. To create axis object, there are two methods. One is using subplot function. Subplot will return figure object and axis object. There is another method that is add axis, which takes four parameters. Left and bottom are the offset from left side and bottom and width and height will give width and height of that axis. Let's draw something, a simple example. So I'm using import matplotlib.pyplot as plot import numpy as np. So let's create x and y first x equal to np dot line space i'm giving values from minus np dot pi to plus np dot pi and samples 500 so y equal to np dot sign x so this is my x and y ready so let's plot this first so i am writing plt dot plot x comma y so we get some plot okay so instead of one i am plotting many here so let's give some color to this so i am giving for this i am giving red color so I get a red color here. I'm adding two more plots. So X comma Y raised to two. And I'm changing color of this. So let it be blue. Let's check it out. Okay, so I get two plots here. Okay, so add one more. So X comma Y raised to three. And I'm changing color for this. I'm giving green. So let's see what happens. Okay. So let's say change a few more properties over here. So I'm making a red line. So this I get a line for blue. I am making it as dotted line. So this is it. Green I'm changing a little bit. So I'm giving double dash. So let's see what we get. So this is my red, blue and green. So three different plots plotted at a time. I'm making some changes over here. So I'm removing this part. Let the X and Y values be same. So I'm here I'm using a figure class. So figure object equal to lot dot figure. So let's give it dimension. So I'm giving fix size equal to a tuple. 4 by 4 and I am giving face color equal to blue. So this is my figure object. I am creating axis over here. So AX axis object equal to figure dot add axis and here I am giving dimensions so 0 0 1 1 when i give 0 0 1 1 1 that means it will take entire space so let's draw something ax dot plot x comma y 
let's see what we get so this is the graph that we got okay this blue looks bad so i am changing this to light gray so this is my light gray here i am giving property red so this is my plot let's try to add a few more plots so here i am using access function to add more access to it so this under access so i am naming it as x1 and here i am having another axis i am naming it as x2 so let's plot here this was the first x1 dot plot x comma y raised to 2 color is blue dotted line and x2 dot plot x y raised to 3 color is green let's see what output we get so this is the output that we got I can place subplots anywhere so let's try something here I'm changing this thing so let me make this as 4 by 4 and I'm making this also as 4 by 4 and I'm trying to change position of this so here I'm giving 3 and see this is 0 means from left axis it starts from a 0 position 3 means from bottom axis it starts from 3 inches so let's try and see what we get so this is what you have got two plots these are two plots and this is 3 inches from bottom and 0 inches from here so I am trying to change left position also so here I am giving 1 and let's see what we get so it has shifted one inch to the right so i can place subplots anywhere in the figure that i want if you want you can change position of this also so i am reducing size of this and i am putting it in right side so let's check what we get so this is the graph that i get here